bunch of watch here. This is Johnny Mega 45. All right, we're back to play some more of this game. Host party, yeah. In the last episode, we have clear chapter one. It took me like three hours to finish it. Yeah, let's go for chapter two, shall we? Of course, we're going to play a new game. Actually, I'm not so keen in playing this PC version because <coughs> it's not as scary as the PSP one. PSP one is more scary, to be honest. But let's just play, right? View. Of course, we're going to view. Want to know what happened? Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt works? See? Freaking Kishinoma. Doesn't he ever know what a delicate flower I am? Most I ever had to live before was chopsticks and he expects me to lump around a damn pommel horse. Oh ah Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Yeah, I can see your botas. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that booty you got. What? Yours is way cuter. Here we go, guys. A lesbian relationship. Lesbian relationship. Mimes all plump like a duck. What are you saying? You got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get older, you can farm out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. What? I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. Hey, <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you are so good with kids. But of course, I hope to raise four child children one day. Same as I. I want to have four children also. Sounds like you will be making some lucky guy real happy. Huh? Oh my god. Oh! Scream! Again! I really hate seeing that no one really creep me out. Chapter 2 did I see something? Oh, the teacher! Who's it that? That's Shimo's voice! And she was screaming. She's out there. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Let's see what we have. Oh, the two! The quality here is very bad. Oxuite? Oxuite? I don't know how to pronounce the Oxuite egg that thing. Please calm down. When you hear it too, I'm sorry for what? I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try out calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out though and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Shinozaki. It's okay. Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Okay, nice one, Kishinoma. Oh, better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? <coughs> oh, brave guy in action, folks. Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety, I was I want to keep to you, you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No. 
Shut up. I counted on you, Kishinoma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. <coughs> I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make any sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is and skate in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. But when I think about my, the possibility of something horrible happen to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. Follow Dynamics Education. And let's move. I, can we go down here? Oh no! Hi! Do we have anything here? Yes! That's why! Huh! There's something here! A crystal shining with a faint purple glow is nested around the debris on the ground. Take it! Of course we're going to take this! Fire power stone! What the? Don't scare us like that! I think that was a really... What's the scream we heard? Did you find something? Yeah, some kind of gems still lying on the ground. Take it. Looks like Ruby or probably an Amos take it. Kishinoma, you can't identify gemstones? No, not really. She knows like it's the one asking for that kind of stuff. Is that so though? Anyway, she, I can she give it to her. Ah, choice. Yeah, just give it to her. I guess normal is not the best time for that. But, will you take it and give it to her once she's come down a bit? It might be make her a little bit better. No problem. Hand over the power stone. I don't know that giving the power stone is a such a good idea or not, but let's just go out here. She was there, right? Another power stone there? It's a key. Oh, a 3A class. Something bad shit is going to happen. No teacher is allowed on the third floor. Why I can't go up? So that I can no longer see. No, me. It's time for me. We'll go out and die of starvation. What the heck was that? Poor Monet all alone. He must be hungry. Kitty by now. Can we go here? Classroom 2A. Oh, I think we should go in here first. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. How about this? Same shit I have. I heard something about this once before, but I never realized just how horrific I ate today it really was. What? Let's go. Why is suddenly open? That was creepy, huh? Now we inside. Oh shit! Well, you been to the teacher. Are you all by yourself? Decided to stop and shake and shiver with one another two back in one hand, didn't you? How did you know? I have you know I heard one of my students screaming I have to set out to find out. I see. Regrettability as I keep telling people. That won't be possible. These schools exist in the open nests where multiple dimensions overlap. It's a but a single closed space in a sea of closed space. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming students, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or maybe you can find some means of traversing the plants freely as they do. Who do you mean they? Consider this, this fair warning if, 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 even if you should find the exact spot from which your student screams animatement, she herself may not be there and if she isn't there, it's not a thing you can do about it. She may be dying already. But, I heard a voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by appearance, are indeed your students. But as I su suggest, time and space do not behave as you assume here, they are fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place just only a few minutes ago. Or oh, perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may be even having an echo from the future. Who is to say? Ah. 
within this phenomenon as it is, it is entirely possible for two closer spaces to have some small influence on one another even when out of sync. It doesn't matter, I can't just ignore that agonizing experience and go on my merry way. Step aside! Sensei, I wouldn't do that, it wasn't you. Hi. Come. We so many spaces, this is one. Fuck! Step aside? Why don't you fuck out, you damn corporeal? Now, time for you to die! And now, quick! Most part, I trust the word in middle of them all. Are you school teachers? All you care about is your own well being. You are not worried about your students, you just worry about being here responsible if something should happen to them. Uh, this is really hard. You are all the same, every last one of you, and I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taking it. When you see a problem on your case, you just keep your distance because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. You have to keep your up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they didn't drop out or get expelled. You are not displaying them, you are just raging at them. That's not. I never met a teacher who actually cared about his students, not once. You are wrong. Ah! All of your students are destined to starve to death in this godforsaken house if they don't succumb to desperation and kill themselves first. If they don't succumb to desperation and kill first, there's no other possible outcome. They all will die meaningless death, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take a, their final breath. Go, 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 go. Any last words, bitch? Wow, the language in this PC version is really harsh. I'll tell them to keep your students as I end their miserable lives. Oh, 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 oh. Spare me. Spare no. <laughs> Come again. Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me. Just please, spare their lives. They are not your children. You're not their mothers. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Yes. Filthy liar, do you know? When you die in this secure space, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forevermore. Ask me to spare you is what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, I will kind of consider spending your life. Not gonna happen, I'm going to say spare my students. Don't you have a hair on their heads, you hear me? You are one stubborn little bitch. Die! Bye bye, sensei. This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. It feels like someone pushing this cavity down on the top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing conscious. Ah, does it hurt? Oh, poor baby. Your cause will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Everyone, everybody, please be safe. Live. Sensei, I love you all. Sensei! Yeah! Meanwhile... Shishina! <laughs> the voice is really bad. Very bad. I think it's over. Wes, what's wrong? Okay, okay, don't be a pussy.
Wait, where did I need not fight her? Just let, make sure we come back to this room, okay? How about we leave her or not? She does okay. Do you have anything I could write with? I got a pan, but no paper, huh? Well, there's always a teacher's desk. Miss Huey, we're going to seek for you. If we are about to write out of you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Blood and kind of sloppy. It's your fault we had to leave a message at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay, Jess. Don't cry. We find her. Let's go. What is this? Let's go up. Hi. Why did the music stop? How oh, I read this? I think the door will open again. Oh, it's not open. Fuck! Sorry. <laughs> Do you have any more of those candles like the one you lit during the ghost story? How about we light one eye and take a quick breather? They give us some heat, right? Hatakai! <laughs> Fucking shit! I don't want anything shit to happen first, that's safe! Ikuzo! No! The teacher is in there! No, 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 let's go up, shall we? Hey, we can go up. Yeah, because we are students. Oh, it's not a toilet. Custodia. <clears throat> Nothing inside here. Oh, I'm settling. What, just now? <coughs> oh. Hi. Ah! Fucking shit. One more time. Why scream? I shouldn't go there. Whatever, let's go down, shall we? Hey, the road is clear. What happened? Dosta. What brainstorm are you going to do right now? Class Red Shinozaki, famous as scary time candle. There's not a student in two nine who is intimately familiar with them, right? Yo, kidding? There's not at least a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rap of Kisaragi for a reason. So, how about. We like some candle like this all through the school building. They'll be like seeing the best for Mochida and others. Let's let them know that you and me and Miss Shinozaki are all here and then we save and stuff. Yeah, I guess. Seems like more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better. No problem. No problem. <laughs> 